Hey everyone, we're going to sketch this graph uh, y equals x cubed minus 12x and we're going to uh, do these four uh, parts, test the function. That just means we're going to find where our x and y intercepts are by setting um, this to zero. Then we're going to test the first derivative that's going to tell you the critical points and that's going to determine whether the curve is rising or falling as well as the maximum minimum and also uh, possible to determine if the curve has any points where it's non-differentiable alright and for the second derivative uh, this is going to tell you where the points of inflection are and um, concavity, um, whether the graph curves upward or whether it cross, uh, curves downward. And also test the end behavior. Now, basically on the end behavior, if you recall from algebra, I mean not from algebra, but pre-cal, when our degree is 3, we have a power function as y equals x cubed. So the graph for x cubed looks like this. So it should be of this form. Now, it also means since we have degree degree 3, we have it at most n. If we have x to the n, then we have n minus 1 turning points. So basically, since our n is 3, that's 3 minus 2, uh, 1, which is 2 at most, 2 turning points. So our graph could start in here, turn in here, turn. So it turns twice. Sometimes it only turns once. Um, in this case, the, right here, it didn't turn. It just has a point of inflection. And it concaves uh, up or down here. Then it concaves up. So let's get started with this problem. And we're going to find the x-intercepts. And the way you do that is set y to 0. So you set y to 0 to find your x-intercepts. So y equals, or 0 equals, and I'm going to pull out an x, x squared minus 12. So when you factor this, you're going to get x minus square root of 12 times x plus square root of 12. So we have um, 3 uh, critical values. So that's going to be, um, uh, we're going to have square root of 12, negative square root of 12, and then 0, comma 0. Now our y-intercept is where x is 0, and it's very clear. If you plug in 0, you get 0. Anytime you have an x-intercept at 0, 0, you also have a y-intercept. So this is both our x and y intercepts. All right. So we got that part. And now remember square root of 12 is 2 square root of 3. So it's probably 2 times 1.73. All right. Now let's take the first derivative. And so we're going to do a derivative of y with respect to x. And that's going to be 3x squared minus 12. So, set the derivative to 0 and solve for x. I'm going to pull out a 3 here. You get x squared minus 4. So, uh, this one's like x minus 2 times x plus 2. So, we do have uh, critical points at x equals 2 and negative 2. Now we're going to plug in 2 and negative 2 uh, to find the y-coordinates of the critical points. So basically we have 2 and negative 2. So plug these, uh, whoops, 2 and negative 2 are your x. Okay, these are going to be your max and minimum. So when you plug in 2, you're going to get 2 cubed minus 12 times 2. So that's going to be 8 minus 12, and that gives you um, 
uh, uh, 8 minus 24, and that gives you negative 16. Since it's negative, that means it's a maximum, because that means the curve is starting to go down. If you have a curve like that, starting to go down. So that would be a max. Now plug in your negative 2. And that's going to equal uh, positive 16. So that's going to be a minimum. Because it's positive. That means it's turning positive. So if you have a graph like this, it's turning positive right here. All right. Now we want to um, take the second derivative. So the second derivative of y with respect to x is going to be 6x. Now set this to 0. Um, so we have 0 equals 6x. So uh, when y is 0, x is 0. So we already have a, a inflection at 0, 0. And that means um, the curve has an inflection point at this point. That's your x and y intercept. Now uh, to find the critical values to determine if it's a max or min at this point, we plug in our two points we had before, so our max and min. So we had a 2 and a negative 2. Now we're going to plug that into our second derivative, so we get a second derivative f prime of 2 equals 6 times 2, and f double prime of negative 2 equals 6 times negative 2. So this is going to give you um, 6 times 2 is 12. I do this all the time. I'm thinking of the answer first. Okay, so 6 times 2 is 12, and then we have negative 12. So 12 and negative 12. So since this is positive here, this means it's concave down. And at if it's uh, negative here, that's going to be concave up. So basically, at our original points, at our maximum, 2, negative 16, because this is our 2, this is going to be concave up. And at 2, comma, uh, negative 16, that's going to be concave down. All right, and then you kind of plot the graph. Um, I kind of already did it here. So I have my uh, x and y intercepts here. This is a point of inflection, remember, right here. So that means this is concaving towards uh, down here. It's going down, and then it's concaving up here. And this is the gradient here. The slope here is 0. And then your uh, intercepts, X, the intercepts are here, which was, I um, forgot what they were, but they were um, intercepts would have been um, negative square root of 12, comma, 0. So this graph's really not drawn to scale, but uh, this would be square root of 12, comma, 0. All right, and that should be it. Um, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.